Hey guys, I'm going to do something that Alpha Investment has never done for his Patreons or his subscribers. I'm going to do something that uh, I have never seen a MetaZoo content creator do. All I've seen MetaZoo content creators do is sell $500 boxes that lose 90% of their value. I'm going to put a buy list together for MetaZoo. I'm interested in buying MetaZoo. Uh, and if you have a Rudy Mystery Box, which is mostly MetaZoo, I'm interested in picking them up, up as well. So you guys can email me what you guys have uh, as a baseline. Just kind of set it up there. Uh, I will be able to buy MetaZoo packs for $0.10 cents a pack, loose. Again, they can be from UFO, Wilderness. I know these are the two most cheap sets. I can buy a spell kit, which has 10 packs and some sleeves, for a dollar. I can also buy any number of booster boxes from any set for $10. Except if Rudy Chan sold you a Nightfall 1st Edition for 500 and you can prove it to me, I'm happy to buy that for $15, give you a $5 premium on that particular box, right? Because I think you've already suffered enough. Uh, it's already lost such a massive amount of money. Uh, I'll give you a premium to make yourself feel a little bit better. So this is the first, and to my knowledge, the only buy list. So this is why I love MetaZoo more than any of these other people, because I'm willing to buy it and set it on fire. You guys think I'm joking. I'm not joking. This channel is literally dying. So, you know, I look at my other channel. I look at, you know, obviously... Um, I have another channel that is doing really well, I think, as a interesting celebration. And let's see how where it goes. We just burn the product. Just set it on fire. Um, I live in Humble, which is actually there is a really cool park and there is a beach. But I think it's like a river type of beach. I saw a, not a bonfire. That's kind of extreme. Just like, you know, somebody lighting stuff on fire the other day when I was going on the hike with my girlfriend. I thought, hey, man, that would be a good idea to just light these boxes on fire at, at a beach because that would be kind of cool. Everyone can stand around and you know, talk about MetaZoo. Yeah, there's a lot of utility. People don't understand the, the utility of MetaZoo. I think people are not giving it the benefit of the doubt. A lot of MetaZoo people don't even care about it anymore. I see these content creators barely producing content. I mean, I got to do their work for them, right? So that's my key. If you have a large position in MetaZoo and you're realizing that you that Native is selling five boxes every three weeks and the liquidity is very poor, even though Alpha Investment told you liquidity is very good, right? Right? Uh, I'm sure he must have, right? He might, did he ever had have a discussion about liquidity? Wait, he hasn't. He never looks at liquidity, huh? Huh? So basically, I think these are fair prices. You might be like, oh, it's a low price. It's a low price. Get out while you can because you won't be able to get out for much longer. Let me just kind of um, let me let me sh say this to you and in, in the nicest way I can. I can. This game is probably going to zero and. Uh, the people who are still selling you boxes and with their own promo cards. It looks like everyone selling boxes now has their own little promo card. So cute, right? Think about this for a moment. The guys, the, the typical MetaZoo audience, what is it? A uh, 25 to 30-year-old dude, right? They might have effing selling these at Claire's. Claire's. <laughs> that was the big reveal, my dudes. Claire's. Are, are you kidding me? Like, why? Like, if you're fan base, so have you, have you guys seen this seance set? It's like, it, it's very disturbing stuff um, for seance, right? And then they went to Hello Kitty. It doesn't, like, this game, I don't know, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, I never, I, I never even looked at seance, right? So I'm looking at seance right now. Let me give you, I can't even put the pictures on YouTube. They probably just banned me. But uh, Seance is creepy. Like, there is a picture, you know, Seance is quite creepy. I don't know who is buying this stuff, type of stuff. But I assume the people who buy the Seance set is different from the people who would buy the um, 
Hello Kitty product. I'm just, I'm taking, I'm going to take a wild guess here, right? That the people buying Seance, right? At first, I thought that was like the Magic the Gathering finance joke, right? But nah, man, it's, it's a real thing. It's surprisingly a real thing. So you have to imagine the people buying Seance have no commonality with the people buying Hello Kitty. The Seance stuff is, you know, kind of dark, right? And I don't really know how else to explain it, but it's really creepy stuff. And it doesn't really fit with the Hello Kitty set. Okay, let me, let me, some of it is creepy. The artwork in my, it's not never in my artwork. Um, let's go first edition Seance. Seance first edition. Possessed Aura, Chains of Old Scratch, Lady Luck, Satanic Panic. These are like their best cards. Walking Sam and so like, it's what is it like Slender Man? Embedding the Soul, Curse Contract. And then you have like Seep Squatch, which is like a cute sheep. And now we got Hello Kitty. So we went from Satanic Rituals to Hello Kitty. Sentry Box Devil. Ghost of Sloth Furnace. Sentry Box. Oh, there's multiple Sentry Box Devils. Reaper's Crown. I, I remember that. I'm trying to look for a picture. There's like a guy holding a baby. I'm trying to find out what that picture is. That was probably the creepiest picture in the game. Black Mass, right? With a, a priest and three females. And, I mean... Some, how are we going to go from this to Hello Kitty? It's beyond me. I've never heard of the Seance set until recently. Someone was like, oh, look at Seance. I was like, nah. And I looked at Seance. I was like, oh, shit. What the hell is this? Um, hey, man. Uh, Ten cents a pack. I will buy all your Seance. And if your kids are afraid of that, if you don't want to bring bad juju to your home by opening the product, I'll buy it, man. I will buy this and I would do something that Rudy Chan has never done liquidate you on a product that means you actually get money back oh yes baby yes I mean you guys in Meta Zoo should be so happy for this buy it's it's a real buy list I can spend up to two million dollars if I wanted to let's put it at a quarter mil right see how many packs we'll see what interest we have um and I could just buy, 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 because at the end of the day, at these prices, I can just use them to warm my, you know, I love, you know, I live in a really nice home, and I always use my fireplace, and I, my dogs love it, my dogs love my fireplace, my Shiba Una loves it, Norman loves it, um, it's just kind of fun, um, I mean, obviously we have a really good heating, central heating, but it's kind of fun to have a fireplace, and I think lighting these on fire is cheaper than firewood. So somebody sell me the stuff, man. I'm not joke. I am not joking right now. I am the biggest buyer of MetaZoo from patrons and subscribers. I'm not selling you a $500 box for $50. I'm giving you $15 for that $50 box that is that one sold in the last seven years. That's an exaggeration. I know. And then MetaZoo people, go, oh no 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 no, so it's so two days ago, two days ago, guys. That's not liquid, you idiots. When, like liquid should be selling like fifty or sixty like during release, and then probably like five or six like every week, I would assume. And that's magic liquidity, which is really low right now. Metazoo liquidity is on another playing field.